Hey everyone, today I am going to be swatching and showing you guys the makeup look I did using the Barbie and ColourPop Malibu Barbie palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. It does come with a mirror, but this is the color story. You have natural tones, but you also have some brights. So if you want to see swatches and my thoughts on the palette and the little mini TikTok makeup tutorial I did, just keep watching. <laughs> Now that y'all have seen the swatches, let's talk about it. Honestly, this palette swatched really well, didn't have any complaints. Considering I used the palette before swatching it, I had a rough idea of how well it would swatch, and it swatched well. Obviously, swatches don't dictate how these eyeshadows will perform on the eyes, but since I have tried it, I know that they perform really, really well. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the shade, if it would focus, 1971. Like, it honestly just looked like a bronzy shade, but it's honestly super pretty. Like, it's a bronze with, like, pink reflex in it. It's honestly really, really pretty. I think it's swatched beautifully. I really love the color story. Like, I love how there's so many bright shades, but then there are natural shades for those of you who want a Barbie palette, but want natural shades, but also like pops of color. So you get 15 eyeshadows in this palette. It retails for 25 US dollars, which yes, is a decent amount in my opinion, especially for ColourPop, but they've been upping their prices. Plus it's a collaboration with Barbie, so it's going to be a bit more expensive, but the color story is stunning. What caught my eye is definitely like the blues and the pinks. Like those are definitely what caught my eye the most. Usually when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know if I need it, but I, I grew up loving Barbie, not Malibu Barbie. I never owned a Malibu Barbie. I was more so into like the movie Barbie. So like I had the princess and the pauper Barbie and I would watch, you know, like all the old animated movies. So I miss those so much. I want to go back and watch them all, but it's kind of cringe, but at the same time, I love it. So anyways, this palette is stunning. I, my favorite is that it says, come on, let's go party. You know, like, come on, Barbie, let's go party. Like, <laughs> but obviously because of copyright, they probably couldn't put come on Barbie, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, there's also little like marks in some of the eyeshadow. So like, a palm tree, a heart, a rainbow, I think, and then, yeah, another heart. I think this palette has a good variety of mattes to metallics. I'm so happy. This palette doesn't really have any, like, satiny shades. They're all either, like, shimmery shades or metallic shades. There isn't any satins, which... Praise be for that because dear lord, I hate satin eyeshadows so much. They're annoying, but this palette does not have any. It makes me very happy. In the look I did, I tried to use as many shades as I could. I was actually going to go for like a blue look, but then I like I was going to put the blue shimmer on the lid, and then I was like, you know what? I want to use the pinks, so then I kind of went with a pink look, and I kind of fell in love with it. I ended up using a decent amount of shades, like I used Call Girl, actually I think this is Cali Girl, yeah that says Cali Girl, I'm, I cannot see well, um, Vintage Doll, um, Follow the Sun, Best Coast, West Coast, um, Let's Go Party, and SoCal, those are the shades that I used, and I love them. Like, the look I did wasn't super profound or anything, but I think it was fun. I think it was pretty. And all the shades performed splendidly.
I didn't have any issues blending out the shades. I didn't have any patchiness. Um, the shade West Coast, it's, it can be built up, but I would personally use this more so as a blending shade. So what I did is I had Let's Go Party and SoCal kind of in the crease, and then I used West Coast, West Coast to buff it out and add a little bit of yellow. I think that worked out well, and then I also used it on the lower lash line. Depending on the brush you use, I think it picks up better. I used like a very dense, like flat brush and it applied a bit better, but it's one of those shades where I think it works better as a blending shade, but the rest of the mattes I used were very, very, very pigmented. I'm very happy with it. I was also happy that Cali Girl was light enough for me to do an inner corner highlight with it because I am quite pale, so usually inner corner highlights have to be pretty light. Luckily, this one was. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Vintage Doll is definitely more subtle. It's not super subtle. Like, it has sparkles and stuff, so I like it. I think it would make a beautiful inner corner highlight, especially on top of Cali Girl. I kind of used it on the lower lash line on the inner corner. It's pretty. It's not my favorite in the palette, but it's pretty. I can definitely see myself, the next look I want to do with this palette is definitely like a blue focused look. Like honestly, I think maybe I would do like yellow and blue maybe, something like that. I definitely want to use the blue tones soon. Obviously, this is kind of like a first impressions, like I've only used this once. But I think I used enough of the shades to know that I love this palette. Like, the formula was great. I usually have no issues with ColourPop, so I wasn't worried about that. If anything, it was just a color story because there are so many natural shades in this. And I'm definitely a bright eyeshadow type of gal, but I was happy with it. And I can even see myself using the natural shades. Like, the shade Boardwalk is definitely a shade that I would definitely get some use out of. The other shades are eh. Like... The shade Shine On is a beautiful bronzy color. Come On is like a goldish color. They're pretty, but not really my style. Same with like 1971. More bronze, but it makes sense. Barbie vibe is definitely a more natural. Like I said in the intro, it does come with a mirror. I still have the protective cover on it because I typically don't use the mirrors in palettes. I'll use a smaller palette mirror to do my looks just because it's simpler than having to hold up this palette, so... That's what I did, but I love that ColourPop's been doing this. This is what I always wanted them to do, is implement artwork around the mirror so that they can still have a mirror, but still have artwork. It's super simplistic, pink, fun, Barbie style, of course. I'm honestly really, really happy with this palette, and I can't wait to do more looks with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do. Go follow my Instagram and TikTok, Makeup by Tasha XO, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.